in this video, I would like to show you how to create unit testing in C sharp code with the MS test in Visual Studio 2022. Okay, so now let's get started. Open Visual Studio 2022 on the Windows PC. And you take a look into the right hand side. We have the get started session. I will go ahead to click on the create a new project. And then here I will select the blank solution and click on next. I will name this one is the my first unit that thing demo. Okay. And then click on create button. Yeah. So that after you click on create button, it will help you to create a blank solution. We have nothing here. So now, firstly, I will go ahead to create a new testing project here. For so now, I will go ahead to create a unit test project to perform some of the basic testing. Let's go ahead to click on the solution in the solution explorer. Right click on this one, and you see like the add option, new project. In the project, I will type in the MS that I will select the first template MS that that project. This one will be support for the .NET Core and C Yeah, click on that button, and then I will enter the name for the testing project. My testing project. Next, next step, you have to select the .NET framework. Basically, it will support for the .NET Core 3.1, 5.0, 6.0. I will select the latest version for now, 6.0. Click on Create button. Yeah, and you see here, this is the unit testing project has been created. All right, so we have a project is my testing project, and the name space is my testing project as well. We have the test class. Inside the unit test one class, we have the test method. So here, let's keep this one by default, and then I will perform some of the testing here. I will define some of the number and perform the testing to do the comparison. Integer or even float number one, five. Float number two, it is six. And I will define the float expected. It is eleven. Okay. And the next step, I will have the actual. Yeah, okay. And then I will do the comparison. I will have the assets dot r equal. We will do the comparison for the expected and the actual number. So here, in case if the expected number is equal with the actual, so the test case will be bad. Otherwise, it will be fail. Okay, so now let's save this one. Let's build the solution. You can right click on the solution and click on build solution option. You can also right click on project name. In case we have multiple projects in the solution, so you just want to build the code for this project. Just right click on the project name and build option. The same thing. You can select the view option on the menu, and then you select the view testing, view my testing project. Yeah, review, clean, and pack. Yeah, so here, view. Okay, all right. Next step, I will run the testing. You click on the test on the menu, and then you can select the run on test. It will open up the test explorer. Yeah. So you see here, you click on the arrow button to show this one more detail. Yeah. 
And you see here, we have the my testing project. My testing project. And in the my testing project, we have the unit test one. And in unit test one, I have the test method one. You see the green icon here. That means the testing has performed successfully. You can also take a look into the group summary. We have the outcome E1 button here. Okay. So here, in case I want to modify some the value here, for example, I will modify the number one. It will be four. So that means for now the actual result will be the 10. We do the comparison between 10 and 11 so that it will be difference. That means after we perform the testing, the result will be failed. Okay, so here, run it again. Yeah. And you see here, we have the test result is failed. Yeah. Let me duplicate this one. I want to create one more method here. Method number two. The same thing, I will have the number one is 10. It would be four and the number one. Yeah. Okay. Save it up. And I will perform the testing again. First list, I will use the project. Click on view option and select the view my testing project. Yeah. It will success. And then you take a look into the test browser window. Here we have some of the option. The first one is run on test in view. The second one is run the selected testing. Repeat plot run, run fail test sky. And the next we have some of the total test sky, the total test sky pass, the total test sky fail. Yeah. The next step we can open the playlist file for testing. And this one is for like unit testing window. Yeah, we can click on this one, for example. It will open up a light unit testing window. You can click on start button for light testing. Yeah. And you see here, we have the test result is failed, but we have only test method one is running. Okay, let's close this one. You take a look into the subcode. We have missing the test method here. Copy this one and paste it here. We need to have the test method class to indicate that this is the test method. We have to perform the testing. Yeah. Okay, so you see here, after I copy the test method here, it will display the test method too in the test browser. Yeah. If I delete this one, save it up. Yeah, and it will be disappear. Okay, all right. Review it again, review the project. And after that, I will run on test here. So you see here, we have the test method one is fail and the test method two is pass. Yeah, okay. And in case if I want to run only the test method two, I can select this one and right click on it, select the run. Yeah. So that I can see the test result of the test method two only. Okay. All right. So that's all for today's lesson. After you finish this lesson, you know how to create a unit testing project and then perform some of the testing by creating the unit test class test methods and also run through how to perform the testing. Okay. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Let's have some time for break and we will continue to learning the past two of the unit testing later. Thanks and see you guys in the next lesson.